Hello friends and subscribers, uh, the kitchen renovation continues and what we're going to try and do today is put together the corner base cabinet. Now I know I said putting these uh, flat pack uh, kitchen base units together was simple uh, but I'm going to confess now this one has really got me going here. Um, I don't quite get this. What we've got is a panel of um, like five, four or five mil stuff, which seems to um, not reach quite as far as I would have thought. Uh, and the this panel is held in place by the notch on this metal part except I believe the metal part is this is going to be where your worktop screws down onto except this little return section it steps in there I decided the next time I was in B&Q to go and have, actually have a look at the uh, base unit on their display and see how the uh, experts have put it together for the customers to see uh, it was nothing like I had got it. And a little time later, I went to another B&Q, the other side of town, and they had put their unit together, their display unit, in the same way that I had done mine. So you'll see both of those examples in the video that follows. To make things even more confusing for my tired old brain, what I've noticed is on the instructions that come with the unit, that metal piece here, which is the bit that's causing all the concern, looks to be, uh, well, it does look as if it's stepped down in that picture. On the actual carton, the box that this thing comes in, there's yet another version of how it goes. And in reality, this is my version that's going to get fitted here in this property. That's the way it's going to look. Now, if anybody's got more knowledge and they'd like to share it with me, leave the comments below, perhaps. And uh, anybody else who's trying to put together one of these B&Q base units will have all the answers they need. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you found that reasonably interesting how we put together our corner unit, a corner base unit from B&Q uh, and the little bit of difficulty we encountered there. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel you'll be able to see what else we get up to as we finish off this kitchen and all the other DIY jobs around the house and around the car that I get up to. Some successful and some less successful shall we say. Thanks for watching.